We have an update on the conflict in the Red Sea between known terrorist groups and commercial ships. American and British naval forces shooting down a barrage of 21 missiles today from Iranian-backed Houthi rebels. There were no injuries or damages to report this morning, uh, but there have been dozens of attacks by the Houthis on these vessels since November. This particular incident following Secretary of State Antony Blinken's visit with Israeli officials. He has been touring the Middle East to gain support of surrounding nations to prevent a broader regional war. Robert Sherman joins us live once again from Tel Aviv this morning with the very latest. Robert. Yeah, Marky, top priority for the secretary is to contain the fight that is taking place here. You mentioned the Red Sea and everything going on with the Houthis. We're awaiting a U.N. Security Council vote where they will possibly pass a resolution to condemn the Houthis and their actions over the last few weeks. But it's not just in the Red Sea. You also have all this activity that's been taking place at Israel's northern border with Lebanon, with more taking place just within the last 24 hours. We've seen rockets fired from Hezbollah. We have seen aerial incursions with drones, attacks on Israeli bases in the north. This is what the Israelis did uh, last night uh, using a drone strike to eliminate Ali Hussein Barji, commander of the southern Lebanon region of Hezbollah's air unit. Despite the tension, Secretary Blinken has been focused on the prospects of peace, not just in the short term, but for the long haul as well. Meeting with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas in the West Bank this morning, the secretary talking about the prospects of a two-state solution with all of the U.S. partners throughout this trip. Every partner that I met on this trip said that they're ready to support a lasting solution that ends the long-running cycle of violence and ensures Israel's security. But they underscored that this can only come through a regional approach that includes a pathway to a Palestinian state. These goals are attainable, but only if they're pursued together. In the meantime, there is a focus on trying to get Palestinians who have fled northern Gaza back to their homes and their communities in that region now that some of the fighting that's been ongoing in the northern portion of the Gaza Strip is less intense than it was a couple weeks ago. The Israelis winding down some of those operations there. Aid groups such as the UN estimate about 90% of Gazans are displaced within the Strip. Marky. We'll see what changes, if any, come from Blinken's uh, diplomatic push. And please, Robert Sherman, live from the ground in Tel Aviv, thanks. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.